Hey, this, this is just to show you how to do the propeller blades for a helicopter. Um, so download the uh, SDK from Microsoft Flight Sim. Go to Samples, Aircraft, copy this one, uh, some simple aircraft, uh, and paste it somewhere on your computer. I've got a folder, I keep everything, and uh, just call it like SDK Heli. There we go. And just paste it. Now, um, one quick trick is navigate to this um, project folder called Texture. And you'll see I've pasted uh, this GLTF model inside there. Uh, and there's a reason for it. Um, I'll just show you. If you go into Models and get the, the LOD 0, so Level Detail 0, copy that. Go back to Texture and paste it in here. Because when you put this into Blender, it's going to import the entire folder structure. If you do it, from this folder, uh, you can only import the mesh and not the textures. And you want the textures because you can get the blur mesh. So once it's inside here, just go to Blender. All right, so um, just going to delete everything. I'll put the uh, screencast keys, there we go. I'll put these on so when I type, you can see what I'm doing. Um, file, import, GLTF model. Just want to go to um, where I saved it. So SDK Heli, package sources, all the way through, texture, simple aircraft. So import, and there it is. This is the simple aircraft. Um, if you click on the look dev, which is this, uh, that does the materials too, you'll see it's busy compiling the shaders. And uh, what's do now is pulling the textures in and then uh, rebuilding the, the aircraft um, with uh, all the textures applied. And the reason why it's important is the prop has uh, blurred meshes. So once the prop is here, a um, couple of things to note. Um, uh, first of all, to select the prop in the hierarchy, quick tip. Select it here, push the dots on the numpad, and you focus your, your view. But what's also quite cool is if you hover over here and push the dots on the numpad, it zooms to um, the, the object in the hierarchy. So um, this is the parent. And on the parent, if you go under animation, so again, I'll push that to zoom, just put some materials in there. Um, click on the action editor. And uh, if you see here, Let's make this a bit bigger. Under animation, there's a animation called prop anim scale. All right, so for skeleton, so um, prop. You'll see here there's a rotation. Um, and if you try and take this and stick it on the roof and then compile and run, it's going to default back to these rotations, which will then flip the propeller. Um, so what you need to do here is you need to actually parent this to another object. So then all these rotations become local to that object. And how you do that is you select um, where you want the parent or the new object, new parent to be. You push Shift S and you say cursor to selected. And now when you do Shift A empty plane axis, it goes to that point. So the pivots will be the same. Call this master prop. Do OK. Now you select the, um, the parent skeletal prop, and now you hold Shift, select the new one you just made, and do Control P, keep transform. And you'll think, oh, nothing happened, but it actually has. Uh, you'll see there everything's been reparented, but it's in a different collection. So let's just move everything to this default collection. So you press A, M for move, and you say collection. And now everything's there. So you've got your skeleton. Um, and all the blurs and things like that. Um, and to move it around, uh, I'm just going to push three on the number pad to go to side view. Select the new parent, G to move. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to R to rotate. And then just G to move it a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so like the repellers moved there, but you'll see something here is that uh, if I just, so. The uh, still has a cone, the slow has a cone, but the blur doesn't have a cone. So what you can do is, I'll just push through again, I'll just take this cone here and I'm going to put it onto the roof here. 
So R to rotate. I'm just going to line it up with uh, another one. So G, R, just so it looks like something. Okay, cool. And uh, now if you export it, um, the propeller will be on the roof and uh, it's going to follow um, the slow and the blur, etc., um, like it normally does. Uh, if you want to scale this up, uh, select the the three meshes, just hold shift and click them. And you push S to scale and then move up. But what you'll see also is it also scales downwards. So how you can do this, if you just go control Z to undo, um, sh uh, S to scale, but you push shift Z to lock it. So it's gonna exclude the Z axes. Uh, if you go shift X, it excludes X, shift Y excludes Y, but shift Z excludes Z. And now you can scale it so it looks, looks pretty decent. Um, again, three in the numpad just to make sure that uh, your inner cone also does the same, so it kind of um, matches a little bit, just just because. Um, if you want to throw the prop on the back wing, uh, again, what you can do is you can select that one, right click and just say select hierarchy, so make sure you select the new parent, just push three in the numpad, shift D for duplicate, Move it across here. And now you want to rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y, R90. And then um, just G, X to move it a little bit off if you want to. And then again, uh, S to scale. And uh, you've got your, your rear prop. And the final thing to know is if you wanted to put your own custom propeller, the mesh inside the um, the still and the slow. Uh, it's very easy to do. So what you can do is um, select the start with the still. Uh, so Shift S to select it. Shift A mesh cube, for example. I'm just going to make a um, very horrible propeller. So um, scale Shift Y just to make a, as a prop. Okay. And now all you have to do is, uh, I want to put this on the first distill. So I've got the cube selected. You can uh, do it this way if you want to. Hold control, select the, that one, control P, keep transform, and it's there. Um, or what you can do is, uh, you want to put on the slow. So just hide these ones. That's the, sl the slow one. I'm going to shift D to duplicate and then right click to cancel. So now I've got two objects. I've got the second one selected. Shift click the one you want it to be on. Control P, keep transform. So now what's going to happen is that when you build this for the game, um, this new propeller will be in place of uh, uh, wherever you want it. Um, and uh, yeah, that, I mean, that, hopefully that helps you. Um, let me know if you've got any more uh, questions. Thanks.